Attention gamers, previously on my 12-step program to find joy again through video games by taking breaks from being told to buy nooses on Amazon from league players to make the best hardcore WoW documentary series in the Eastern Kingdoms I got in a naked slap battle with a dagger douche which sparked a historically large gang war. I became the biggest hitman in Westfall killing every last red bandana little bitch until one finally showed me where I could find their leader. I teamed up with my first guildie for a covert group operation to enter the dead mines and take down the leader of their cute little book club which was a great success and the first step toward putting only fangs on the map. Turns out our triumph in the dead mines was followed by some dark times for the guild. Some of us were finding out the hard way that they aren't the only thing who can summon slaves to do their slaughtering. Others were learning that if something casts a single spell for 12 seconds it's probably not gonna feel nice when it comes out. Young Jeffy learned that Horde city guards will attack you from bumfuck Egypt and then others who had add-ons making their mini-map look dank and their action bars look like a lost and found table seemingly forgot to make use of the most important add-on. Their eyeballs, and I think the realities of hardcore WoW was taking its toll on the well-being of the guild. This resulted in an emergency meeting where we all got called into the principal's office to hear this. How many people have died? in the past day. Do you guys even give a f Howard was struggling as well you see after news got out that he attended the Van Cleef gang bang let's just say he was absolutely drowning in pig puss but these Westfall hogs clearly aren't tested so he was having gonorrhea shits every few seconds like they were hiccups but with herpes. I was starting to learn more about how the WoW community behaves for example when someone has a tag on a quest mob you need they will either a ignore you because they are a Chinese bot or b be total giga chad stop their kill in the middle of the fight cc the barney cosplaying murloc while they remember how to invite other people to their little murder date so you can get credit and i think these are the people who should be recognized anyways our fearless guild leader decided to reward me for not dying by making my weapon look like a flaming hot cheetos kebab and even though as a hunter this effectively would do nothing for me the style points had me treating every fight like i was recording flashy kills for a halo 2 montage I had some loose ends to tie up in the 50 shades of grey forest starting with the genocide of these thugs who had a fetish for saying weird shit as you killed them. Mommy. But in reality I was there to apparently grow old and die wondering how the hell to do this quest I was on. I euthanized at least two baker dozen of those shitters my mini map looks like the grammar police had a group orgy on it, looking into this bowl wasn't exactly helpful. And these books were trying to grab a handful of dwarf dick every time I walked by. I decided to just move on an uneducated man and challenge myself to what my guide warned me was a quest that is too hard to solo and I soon found out that's because it's almost impossible to not die. Of boredom watching this short King Joe Biden just walk around in circles trying to remember his own name for 20 minutes looking for some old pelvis bone only to remember he left it at his side hose house. Bruh. I gave him the name of a dementia medicine and decided I had about enough of Dark Shore and onto a city named Astronar, emphasis on the ass. But I was here for one thing and that was to help my homeboy cure his bitch of some crippling STD he gave her. The initial gamer fuel we tried didn't seem to do shit so he had me go to a little swamp island to pick up a glowing Godzilla Tic Tac. I'm not sure why the horn dog thought this would work but here is where I also learned this was a daughter-father relationship which makes this whole situation a bit strange but if he's gonna be loyal to one hoe in a town that is just crawling with local talent I guess I can look past incest and go pick some sparkling pond pubes for us to try. That didn't do shit for the entitled ho so I was like sorry Mr. White Moon your weird quasi illegal sexy stepdaughter kink you had going on is just gonna have to stay on pause as I gave them the doctor disrespect proverbial firm handshake and peaced out of there. You see I booked a carnival cruise back to the other continent instead where I generously handed out some high level hunter tips to a normie. I made a quick pit stop in Pearl Harbor because some drunk shit stain who survived the Titanic was in town telling his story and I wanted to know if Rose's ass was as dank as it was in the movie but all he would say was I'll need a fresh drink if I'm to get a handle on this hangover and continue my tale. And as someone who attended at least one year of college I knew just how to fix that situation. It was around this time where I think I survived my first assassination attempt. 
Now I want to note that if you ever see someone struggling out in the world because some giant terrifying pew bush of algae whose favorite game is apparently peekaboo wanted you to euthanize a bunch of ratchet rabbits, the best thing to do is run up there and give her some emotional support. Yes you could help but you know how the saying goes buy a man a fish he eats for a day, let a rogue die from over pulling their role of priest when they go again. But the whole point of this trip and the reason I had to leave my incest fetish homie so urgently was to visit this make-a-wish city that I stopped by in as Keanu Reeves last episode because Howard was starting to look a bit dated, like he was in dire need of the latest iOS update, so we agreed to me getting a hall pass if it meant me teaching him new tricks and I knew exactly who I wanted to use it on. I knew from using my toilet time by reading hardcore WoW forums that this particular pig doesn't fuck around so I thoughtfully played it pretty well dazing him and then putting the bacon over ice to which he still came out and slapped me for half my health before eventually agreeing to be my bitch. I was starting to worry I would enjoy having such a powerful pig too much and that a tough breakup conversation was in store. Psych I named this smelly bastard Lil Slave and tried everything in my power to get his ass killed only for Blizzard's buggy ass code to make everything attack me instead, the second I got what I needed from him I commanded him to run in the lake and drown himself. I reunited with Howard held up on my end of the deal and guiltily told him about my infidelity. I could see the look in his eyes and even though I didn't agree, I knew this was something he had to do. Until some fucking good Samaritan decided to come and completely shit on Howard's glory. But we all know who would have won that fight right guys? But Howard's revenge aside it was a big day for us as we had to attend our first streamer guild meeting. I was excited to be a part of such an elite group until the meeting consisted of 3 hours of mind numbing yelling mainly coming from some guy named Russell so I had to outplay that mechanic and then try to sneak out. But Howard's growing fame had me busted and I wasn't going to deny him pets from this chick so I went back and learned my lesson and never tried to sneak out of that meeting again. A few moments later. We might what? have to get out of here. You know, I'm really upset about we my whole to pizza party here. Friday thing. I Being don't care, Sheer! Wow, that is entirely unacceptable behavior of Chance and I completely agree. Like, I'm having such a bad day, like I <laughs> work out Rab's the stuff, out but, here too. You know, like, Rab's vibing, dude. But in my defense, it's because I heard Papa Soda say this. Uh, and target dummies are required from now on. So I spent the rest of the meeting leveling my engineering and considering I started that ear bludgeoning experience where I had to apologize to my headphones afterwards. I came out of it with some dank ass shades. <whistles> Plus engineering turned out to be the bee's knees considering on deadly four packs after I nuked the little gray ball sack in the back I can hit a fat AOE wombo combo with my man-made dynamite straight Hiroshima style. And since this is just a WoW Pro Tips channel full of info that pussy boy Ompi would never know here's another one. When you are running past a class who can give buffs, turning around to help them kill their mob will psychologically outplay them into giving you their buffs without even having to ask. It works every time for example I wanted this mage's intellect buff easy goddamn peasy just help him nuke that bird and voila you have your buff. Anyways it was time for me to lose my Duskwood virginity which in this case meant having to turn the brightness on my screen just about to max settings so I could see more than 10 feet in front of me. Turns out Fitch's BFF is now a hermit who needs help wiping his own ass not to mention Joe Biden's speechwriter lives out here. I can't escape them. Monsters in Raven Hill, n n and oh, couldn't be only harmless jitters. I quickly learned that while in the US you drive on the right side of the road and in some EU countries you get the left side of the road but in Duskwood you stay the fuck off the road entirely because of a big walking Godzilla sperm cell named Stitches who kills more World of Warcraft gamers than the concept of loneliness itself. He is so deadly that one of the four hardcore servers was literally named after him and you can always tell when he's around because you'll walk by some bitch and notice she stopped and turned around to see what happens to you and that's when you should immediately know that the patrolling jizz rag is close. And while me and Howard might not be the heroes that Darkshire wants, tonight, we would be the heroes that they need. <laughs> 